Welcome back everyone. This is Shannon Coombs with Junior Achievement. Today we're covering our region uh, session four, which is covering problem solving. And uh, I hope you all had a great time with the hot dog stand activity last session. And hopefully you learned some uh, new material as well. Um, one thing that I think sometimes is very easy to um, either forget or not really think about when you think of being a entrepreneur or business owner is really some of the tough decisions that business owners have to make. And as you can imagine, this last year, not only has it been difficult for everyone, um, but for business owners thinking about how they're going to continue their business when maybe they had to shut down for a period of time, maybe they don't have the same amount of people coming into their business as they used to. Maybe they had to switch from offering um, whatever they were selling in a store to offering to sell it online. Um, so there's been lots and lots of creative, innovative business owners, um, even in our local area, that have really trudged through this last year um, and made it through a very long year. Um, successfully. And it certainly has not been easy, uh, but they have been putting the work in to make a difference. And those problem solving and those hard decision making um, is something that you're going to talk about today. And really, when you are making a decision, you want to think about the risk and the reward. And those are two of your vocabulary words that you're going to cover today. But ultimately, it really comes down to what risk are you willing to take for the amount of reward that it may give you. Um, ultimately, you want to come to a decision that's going to be, um, when you weigh out your options, the option that gives you the least amount of risk with the most amount of reward. Um, and if you stick with that model, then it's pretty easy to make decisions um, and it's easy to say that, but once you really get into those real scenarios, it's harder than it sounds. Um, think about when you maybe had decisions to make about um, if you had a conflict on a particular weekend, maybe one of your friends wanted to have a play date or a sleepover, but it was the same day as maybe a family member's birthday and you had to decide which one to go to. If you go to the birthday party, then you're not having fun with your friend. But if you go to your friend's house, then you can't celebrate with your family and you're missing out there. So that's just one example of a really tough decision that is something that I'm sure you've come across that type of example um, of decision making that you've already had to make those tough decisions. And as you get older, um, there's going to be more and more decisions that you'll have to make. And so when you really think about, again, coming back to those risks and rewards, it will help you make those decisions moving forward. So the activity that you're going to do today is, um, I think some of you might refer to it as a fortune teller activity um, using a paper, um, almost origami type um, activity where you're going to have a lemon stand uh, or a lemonade stand, juice stand, um, and you're gonna have to make decisions about price and advertising um, the types of decisions that that particular entrepreneur would naturally have to make. Um, and you'll have to weigh out some of the um, risks associated with some of those decisions and what the potential rewards might be, um, which will be fun activity. And you will be able to take home um, at the end of your junior achievement sessions some of the materials that you've used, which will be fun too. So one thing that I do want to challenge you with today when you go home to your family, think about the things that you have learned, whether it be about some of the businesses that you have talked about in your sessions, maybe some of the vocabulary words, maybe how what you've learned um, helps you understand some of your local businesses better. Um, think about those things and what you can talk to your families about, um, and I'm sure that they will have additional insight that they can share with you too, which will be great to hear. So thank you, and I look forward to our next session.